Stay tuned for the new Mario items in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You do not want to miss this. What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hello there everyone, says Isabel. Right now in Astoria, it's 3.16 p.m. on Monday, March 1st, 2021. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today, but... Oh, listen to this. I was having a hard time with my crossword puzzle, but I finally figured it out. Er, oh dear. I guess it doesn't really qualify as news, does it? That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Same to you viewers out there now. Big news for March 1st. Now, this update came out a little bit ago, but you're just now able to purchase uh, through the whatever resident services the new Mario stuff. So, the new Mario stuff is here. My phone is ringing. I know. I got some credits, right? The new Mario stuff is here in the game. I'm super excited to show you. And uh, I really got to give credit to my friend uh, uh, Raph, Raphael, who helped me out and got some of this stuff. Let me check my mailbox really quick and see what's new. Uh, she also sent me some fish food that I didn't end up using. But hold on, I got some stuff here. Uh, Lucky Red. Okay, we'll, we'll get to this. I ordered the stuff, never opened it. Uh, but Nintendo sent something. What is this? We get. I downloaded the update, give me the gift. And that's probably, yeah, mom. Oh, come on, mom. Like a cheap candle, the snow is melting fast, replaced by lovely flowers and plants. Spring sure knows how to make an entrance. Oh, well, thanks, mom. Uh, put that in my pocket. And then I think he sent fish food. I might. I might not need it, hola. So yeah, I think he sent some fish food because I was trying to find a fish, a blowfish, at some point, but uh, I ended up, I ended up getting it without needing fish food. So bank of nook. You know what? We can throw away the bank of nook. Get out of here. I'm not getting very much interest. Happy Home Academy. We can get rid of you too. Throw you away. Pashmina, you are not moving. Don't even think about it. What did Apollo give me? Here we go. Give me the gift. Place in the pocket. Throw it away. <laughs> So let's see what's up. Let's see what's going on here. I know I have stuff to gather from my mailbox. Pashmina, she's not thinking about, oh, she still is. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Hey, Highway, I've kind of been thinking. Maybe it's time, no, it's not. It's not. Sorry, you should stick around. I'm gonna keep you guys here forever. So, uh, all of my, uh, you know, the festival stuff is still here. I think this is gonna stay for quite a while. Uh, this is a good look, I think, for this area. It's very festive, so to speak. And, uh, so, hey, oh, you're here. Kix is here. Kix, what do you have in store? Welcome, chum. Have a look. No rush, no rush at all. So, he's got some cool kicks. Whoa, those are cool looking. Eh, we're gonna just gonna leave it as is. Nothing standing out. That's fine. I, I look pretty cool as is. So, uh, let's, let's open up. What a present, what is this? This was Mushroom Mural. Was that the one from, from Nintendo? Mom's candle set. Thanks, Mom. Fish bait, this is probably fish bait too, and whatever this is is from Apollo, right? Okay, athletic jacket. So, here's what we're gonna do. I, I gotta show you this Mario stuff, and I gotta donate some fish to Blathers, because I had some fish in February. Uh, I almost have, if you take a look at my list, well first up, let's go here, really quick. Welcome to Nook Shopping. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look over here really quick because this is what you're gonna want to do. I don't think is it for Nook Miles or was it from was it for? No, it's not for Nook Miles. Why, why, why was I think it was Nook Miles? I always think it, but then I come here and it's never it. So uh, let's go back. It's not Nook Miles. It's Nook Shopping. <laughs> but this is where you can get the Mario stuff. Now uh, here we go to posters promotion. We got the One Up Mushroom, the block. The coin, the fire flower, floating block. Now, how long will these be available? I don't know. Gold pole, very cool. Large mushroom platform, pipe, shell, small mushroom platform, super mushroom, superstar, thwomp, question mark block, Luigi hat, Mario hat. It's so all these clothes, right? All these clothes that you can get. And then also, uh, look at this. Uh, Yoshi's egg, Lakitu's cloud rug, block flooring, mushroom mural. All really cool stuff, but here's the thing. My friend Raphael, now he did some time, I'll be honest, he did a little bit of time traveling, I'm pretty sure, because you're only able to buy so many of these a day, but he gave me like everything, except for some of the alternate colors of the mushrooms, which I, I gotta look into that and figure out what that's all about, because uh, we have uh, some alternate colors somehow uh, for this, I guess the small mushroom platform, I don't know. Large mushroom platform, I don't even know where you order the, anyway. But the, the point is, there's some other colors. And he gave me all this stuff, and I have it. 
and I'm gonna show it to you rather than order right now. I, th but we'll, you know, maybe order more to do some more decorating. And I, I can't tell how long these are here. These might just be here indefinitely. These, however, are these pie, like the pie pie until 3.14 on 3.14. This is the Blossom Lantern. Uh, I gotta place that order because that's going away the third. This is going away the 14th, which would be pie day. And uh, so that's great. Two awesome items to order. But man, if I need more of these, and if you guys need them, you can order them. I think it's a good deal. So how much, are these all the same? Yeah, I don't know how you get the color variations, but we'll find that out eventually. Um, maybe you order them from the catalog. I don't know. But here's what we're gonna do. I already have them. And so I'm gonna try to place them in the town today and kind of show you what all is new because it's gonna be a cool look. There are also warp pipes. Do we see those warp pipes? I don't even remember the seeing them. But there are warp pipes as well. And we're gonna show you, that's the cool new feature that I really am most excited to show you. So first up, before we do anything else, uh, star one, check this out. I can actually change my clothes. I can be Mario. Ta-da, oh, I like how I made the sound. Look at that, that's cool. And then uh, Luigi as well. It's so funny that they know the sound to play. And then there's also Princess Peach. Looking pretty good there, right? And then Wario. So the super cool, all these new outfits. Let's just be Mario for now. And then I also finally made an outfit for my own self called Outfit 7. <laughs> so let's, let's see Mario. I think I look pretty pretty dazzling. So, what, did he just flip a coin or something? What was he doing? So yes, I am now, you know, I, I'm i now Mario. No, do I have all these clothes? No, these clothes have been, okay, so good, good, good. good. So I do need to go, go ahead and donate these uh, things to Blathers. If we take a look at my, uh, this is really cool. My Critterpedia, I have almost all the bugs. Uh, these are the bugs. Now, here's the thing, I'm missing one. What is this one? Well, it turns out this is a spider, and this spider is always available. What I do, my the way that I catch bugs is I look at what's going to expire. Because we've been here for like a full year now, almost. Like, we're back in March, which, which I think is where we started, right? But, uh, so th the only thing I have left is a spider. The spider never disappears, so I never made an effort to catch a spider, which I will eventually. For fish, I mean, maybe it's the same story with some of these, but I've gotten a lot more fish. And uh, there's probably a couple that just ha never disappear that, uh, that are just still here. Sea creatures, only two left. Two left, maybe they're available this month or next month, who knows. But only two sea creatures left. So we're getting this done quite a lot. The museum is going to get done. It's going to way behind on art. Artwork is another thing that we're just not doing quickly, but that's okay. So all this stuff here, this is this is what's going to be driving me crazy. Is like, where do I put all this stuff? Because uh, it's a lot. So we got the one-up mushroom. Let's just pick up a whole bunch of stuff and try to decorate today. And I've, I've been trying to think about where I want to decorate. Where do I want to put these, the warp pipes, for example? That's a good question. And I don't even know if I have enough space. I have room for three more things. Uh, question mark block. Da, 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 da. Let's go. Let's go donate really quick. Because I want to have all these items on me when I go decorate. Let's go to Blathers really quick. And get these things donated. He's going to have some fascinating stories to tell. And we're going to go up here. Maybe I'll make kind of a Mario area up top really quick. Um, which I think would look really cool. And uh, so Blathers, wakey wakey, I know it's the afternoon, but you gotta wake up and talk to me. Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Zach. Welcome to the Astoria Museum. How may I be of service? So the reason I had Raphael send these, maybe the reason he wanted to send these is because like, I wanna be able to get all these blocks so quickly. I'd have to order today, then wait till tomorrow to make a video. And I would only have five things. So I, you know, I would have to order over the next several days. Thankfully, Raphael did it. He's a mod on my Discord server. Great guy. How may I be of service? Uh, make a donation. I have three things to donate to you today, Lathers. And that means the blowfish is one of them. Let's see what he has to say about the blowfish. Hootie hoo! This must be a blowfish. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your blowfish? Yes, please tell me. Alright, as you may know, blowfish carry a deadly poison and are among the most toxic creatures on Earth. What you may not have known is that poison and spines are not the limits of this animal's defenses. A predator that tries to swallow a blowfish before it inflates can find itself quickly choking. To be honest, if said predator can get past poison spines and choking hazards, I feel they've earned a, a meal. <laughs> and there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Alright, awesome. Might I help you with anything else? Uh, how about another donation? Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Let's see right here. 
we have a sea pig. This thing took me forever to catch. It took me like an hour and a half to catch this. So uh, here's the sea pig. Hoo hoo, why this is a sea pig. All right, so tell me about the sea pig that took me forever to catch. All right, what's he say? Never have I seen a creature that walks the line between creepy and cute quite like the sea pig does. Sea pigs are in fact a type of sea cucumber that lives deep down on the ocean floor. About four inches long, these soft pinkish oddities are tube-like, uh, use tube-like legs and feelers to get around. Thus, they snuffle through the mud, slurping up particles from decaying carcasses. Meanwhile, predators be warned, this little picky tastes like poison. <laughs> and there you have it. Bad things to stop him. <laughs> This little guy, he tastes like poison. Alright, so... <laughs> Alright, so one more. And this one didn't take me as long to catch. But make a donation. Uh, and that's why I don't film me catching these, because it's just basically me listening to music and catching these. Because I have to have something to occupy my mind as I'm swimming in the vast, empty ocean. Hooty hoo, this must be a Venus's flower basket. Alright, tell me about the Venus's flower basket. Uh, the Venus's flower basket looks like an otherworldly creature one would find on an alien planet, but it is instead a remarkable sea sponge found in the deepest parts of the ocean. Its body is composed of silica and looks like a sculpture or perhaps a vase made of glassy mesh. I dare say the Venus's flower basket is one of nature's most impressive works of art. And there you have it. Okay, that pretty short description, but hey, there you go, Blathers. That's all I had for you. I now have three more spaces. I'm fine. Jolly good. So let's go uh, de deposit some more stuff at my home so I can pick up the rest of the Mario stuff, then take it up and build with it. Because I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to put it up there. And those of you who want to come visit my town tonight or tomorrow, whenever it is, I will update my dream address right after this video. And I'll make sure I'll do it too so you can come and look at all the Mario stuff. Uh, so let's go up here really quick. And also you can talk to me and I'll be dressed as Mario. <laughs> Which I used to dress as Mario a lot. Hey, let's go ahead and uh, throw this athletic jacket in storage. The fish food will go in storage, even though uh, I thought I would keep it. Mom's candle set. What, what is this? Okay. <laughs> Put that in storage too, huh? And then we got uh, some mushroom mural. What does that look like? Oh. So they sent this. Okay. Sure, put in storage. One of my, yeah, so we have plenty of room to pick up the rest of the stuff. Let's get to it. And I'm going to I'm going to show I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be awesome. And now I don't know where my final warp pipes are going to go. I'm still thinking about it. Excuse me, Pashmina. Down here we will pick up the stuff. And we got plenty of room now. All right, so I'm thinking just just for now, and I don't know if this is gonna be like this forever, but I kind of want a warp over here. So I'm gonna put a warp pipe here, and he gave me three. I don't know why he gave me three, but I have two. I I, I have plans to use two. So there it is, a warp pipe. Now how do you? Where is it gonna take me? So that's my only warp pipe, so I am out. There we go. That is super cool, though. And again, oh, here's a message in a bottle. Let's see what it is. It's a recipe, but let's see what kind of recipe. From Jacob. Golden dung beetle. I already know that one, but thank you for the recipe. So there's a warp pipe right there. So my plan, basically, is to come out here uh, and then warp. <laughs> I don't know. This is like like a, like a, a and this will take me now. It will eventually take me up to over here. My dog's coughing. I don't know if you can hear in the background. But so now I'm, I want to build. Although this is this is a neat way. This probably won't stay here forever. I hear if you use three warp pipes, it takes you someplace random. But let's just. Uh, do I even need to worry about chopping down the trees? What kind of trees are these? Don't remember. But my point remains. Oh no. They can't catch me. They can't catch me if I run into Blather's place. Ha <laughs> ha. Evaded them. I did not get stung. I don't want to look like a dorky looking Mario. I want to look like the real deal. 
So that was pretty good. That was a good way to avoid it, right? I ran around the moon. I'm back. When Leaf comes, I will replace these bushes with whatever's in season. Uh, and hey, I'll take that honeycomb, by the way. So, I'm really considering just chopping this down. Honestly, the trees. I don't remember what kind of trees these are. I don't think it matters too much. Let's chop them down. There's got to be a reason why I had them up here in the first place, but... That's okay. I'm going to at least chop this one down. Was it like a money tree? Was it some reason? I don't even know. Point being, though, I now have some room to build. And, you know, maybe I want the warp pipe to be over here. Just for now. Or maybe, maybe we'll keep it all together. I don't know. Can I push this just a little bit further? <laughs> there you go. Get out of the way. You can still see it from here. Okay, so... I don't even know if I want to keep the moon out, honestly. The moon's kind of creepy. I was thinking about putting a bunch of space stuff here, but now I'm thinking about Mario stuff. So, uh, let's go ahead and see what we're working with here. We got um, a super mushroom. That's pretty big, right? And, oh, oh, it's not facing the right way. That's what, the, I was like, what? There you go. There's a super mushroom. And what do we got here? We got a thwomp. So, like, we could put a thwomp over here or something. And, again, I haven't put any real thought into how this is going to go. He won't let me pass. That's interesting. But there's a thwomp right there for you. Can I push him? Touching his spikes. Uh, what else we got? We got a large mushroom platform. That's pretty cool. You gotta see how many of these, like... Yeah, you can interact with some of these. Super cool. And then, a uh, floating block. This would be fun to mess with. So, a floating block. You place it, and look at that. Now, is, can you interact with that, or no? I mean, I, obviously, I don't have a jump ability that I know of. But the floating block is really cool. How many did I get? Hold on, one-up mushroom. <laughs> Sweet. What I want to do... Can I, can I put it under the floating block? Oh, interesting. So, no, it's stuck. Like, I can't put it under the floating block, which is interesting. Alright, but we got a couple different mushrooms here. Let me put this one next to... The, let me put these two next to each other. Maybe somewhere uh, else. <laughs> I don't know. And move that out of the way. Put this in the back. We could put a couple of the power-ups down here. So, let's see. Put uh, the two mushrooms. What? Okay. That is so weird. I didn't know they could go up there. So I can put stuff on top of them. That's really interesting. Uh, we got a fire flower as well. Which I guess I'll just put on the ground. I imagine that some people are going to make, like, Mario-themed islands entirely. That's a cool sound. What else do we get? What other power-ups are there? There's a shell, which is kind of like a power-up in a way. <laughs> you can make it spin. That's pretty cool. And then what else we got? We got a shell. We got a coin. A small mushroom platform. I got to think about the extra colors in here and stuff here. And we can put coins here. Let's just put the coin on top of it, right? There you go. There's a coin. Now, would that make a sound if I were to... Uh, let's see. Let's place the coin somewhere else. Oh, yeah. The other pipe. I totally forgot to place the other pipe. Let me just put this in the in here so it looks cool in the background. And then uh, we could also put a pipe over here because I do have an extra one. And what this will do is it'll make it so that 
if you enter one of the like if you enter this pipe it'll take you to one of the other pipes I guess randomly so I might come up here uh, or I might go well we'll see how, how long will I spend bouncing but yeah or I might go here I don't know if it's random or if it's just in, 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 a, in a certain order yeah hard to tell maybe it's a certain order so let me put this up here Block. So we got a coin. And then, uh, yeah, let's just drop the coin over here. I don't know if it makes any sound. What? What? Oh. That's cool. Oh my gosh. That's super cool. I didn't know that's how it worked. Can I put this coin on top of this brick? <laughs> I can't. How do I get it down? Wow. Okay. I, I haven't seen items that work like this. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, a block. A question mark block. Oh, a superstar and a goal pole. Ooh, the goal pole would be interesting. How's that going to work out for us? Well, let's do another... Uh, we'll do... Here, let me pick this up really quick. So I want to do a block. I, I want to do the classic, you know, a block. Oh, wait. There's a block and then there's a floating. There's a floating block. So a block, okay. Uh, interesting, hold on. So there's a, well, maybe I won't be able to do the classic because I only have a couple of each item. But we can do a floating block and uh, we can also do next to it a coin block. Or, you know, a question mark block. That's interesting. So just walking under it. That's cool. Okay. I like that. And then the, the block will just be kind of like... I don't know, up here. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's put a star on top of it. Let's put the block here. And we'll put the superstar on top of it. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then you can also pick up this coin too. So, like, things that I would want. More floating blocks, for sure. I'm going to order more floating blocks. I'm going to order more coins. I could just make this be like a Mario Haven up here of some sort. And then, last but not least, let's not forget the ever important. Let me let me actually pick this one up. I'm gonna put the goal pole, like right over here. I'll put the block somewhere else. There we go. And how does this work? <laughs> very cool. Very nice. Very nice. I'll just put the coin like right. Ah, uh, where should I put the coin? Can, can I push this guy? I kind of want to push him further back. And then I'm just going to stick a coin, like, right here. And then this is, like, this is all, right? This is pretty much all of the, uh... Here, can I push this? I guess not, but that's okay. That coin is now here to collect whenever we, we want. I think it looks all looks pretty cool. Interactive items all around. How do I can I do this again? Switch it back. And then I can go into the warp pipe to go to another part of my island. And I guess it is kind of random. So maybe what I would want is I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like the randomness aspect right now. Uh, but that's super cool. Now I don't know exactly where all the war pipes are gonna go in the in in the final, but I just want to get these items out here so that you guys can come play with them in my dream address. I think they all look really really cool, and they're, I'm so glad they added added them to Animal Crossing. Uh, I I can just imagine making my own like Super Mario World up up in here. You know, that's what it could be all about. I don't know. That's kind of the idea now, isn't it? But hey. Also, this is this is sure to be this is sure to be a really good design, I think. If I can just take some more time and figure out where everything's going to go, and then of course I have this this festival stuff. So just in the past couple of months, I've added a lot of 
sections. This is like a new section, so to speak. This section's been here, but I finally found a purpose and to put the festival stuff here. So this is kind of the purpose of this section. And then this section up here is now kind of the Mario section. So just kind of uh, what I'm coming up with. And, you know, maybe I'll come up with more stuff as time goes on. But this is, this is a, I mean, it doesn't feel like it to me. But it is, in theory, a five-star island now. So let's go ahead and just do a quick glance through just to double check and make sure I get everything. I'm not sure. There are different colors of mushrooms, but I'm not really sure how to get those. So uh, let me take a look uh, over here. Uh, where are we going with it? Hold on one second. I was going to look. Um, we are over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I don't know what I was thinking about. So Nook shopping. And where were the pipes? Were they in here too? Yeah, they were. Super cool. So yeah, uh, I've showcased everything here. Superstar, Thwomp, the block, yeah, Luigi, and of course all these outfits which I have showcased as well. Oh yeah, we gotta showcase the, the, these things inside. And I already got the mushroom mural sent to me from Nintendo, I guess, Direct Connect. And so let's sign out of there. And what I would like to do is check out Timmy and Tommy's and also check out Able Sisters to see if there's anything going on new for the month of March. March 2021, that is. And hey, I, I kind of feel like switching up uh, my look a little bit more. So let's do it. Let's be Luigi for a little bit. Different mustache and everything. Looking cool. So uh, yeah, let's go to Timmy and Tommy. Let me pick these things up really quick. I can throw those in one of the rooms. And then let's go by, uh, and then b believe you me, I will be updating my dream address uh, very soon. So look out for that. So they don't have a featured item, so I don't really want to buy anything. <laughs> this looks kind of bland in here right today. Uh, but hey, let's check out Able Sisters, see if there's any cool new clothing to buy. And then let's switch it up one more time and be Wario just a little bit. I'm already getting, I'm, I'm getting getting antsy I want to switch things up over and over what's going on in town oh kicks is here that's right so let's see able sisters Deli's up there enjoying himself so all right hey there I don't know if there's anything new going on here but let's just take a gander Oh, I can't use it with the transformation wand. Wait, what? What'd she say? Once I'm uh, myself again. How do I get rid of the transformation wand? Oh, interesting. So... <laughs> I'm still in my festival clothing. All right, I might actually have to wear the regular old Mario costume in order to update my dream address. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I'm seeing anything that super sticks out, but okay. So yeah, we're, we're coming up on a full year playing this game. And I haven't made a ton of progress on my town lately, but you know how it goes. Let me go put on Mario's clothes. I wanna go put on Mario's clothes and wear those. And, that, and actually have them on. And then it'll all look pretty good. Can't believe I've been playing this game for a year. And I'm not letting my villagers go anywhere. So, let's see. What, what else can we put here? We can put down the, the cloud rug. How do I... There we go. Uh, we got the Kizu's cloud rug. <laughs> how do I move? Well, I, I I know how to move that. What else we got? Here, I can pick this up. The Yule logs can go. The cakes can go, I guess. And then we want to spread. Uh, here, let's put these in storage. Mushroom murals already on the wall, right? Yeah, it's the same thing. So put the extra one in storage. Block flooring, place on the floor. Put in storage. And then the Yoshi's egg rug. 
Uh, please spread it out. There we go. And then how do I... Here, I, I move things like this, right? There we go. <laughs> I could have one here. Let me put the crafting table over here. And the mirror over here. There we go. There we go. Not too bad, right? Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is the bare minimum you're getting from me in terms of decorating my, my room. <laughs> oh, man. And then this, we can put that in storage. Put the spooky rug in storage. Put another uh, 30 softwood in storage. And then, what is this? Yule log. Put in storage. Put the kitchen mat in storage. I got a lot of mom stuff. Put in storage all our homemade cake and the birthday cake as well in storage. And then I, I think I want to uh, switch my costume to just be full on Mario so that when I dream, I dream big. <laughs> this room is so weird too. Uh, yeah, I get changed. So I actually want to get changed here. And so that means for the top, we're talking about finding Mario's thing. Wait, 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 wait. Does it get locked? Okay, I'm super confused right now. No, it's, it's under dress up. Wait. So... Are they locked into like a wand or something? Are they, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like, do I have to unregister? I'm so confused. They must be locked into like a wand. Okay. Well, so here's the deal. What if I, okay, use the wand. That's in the Mario. So, okay. That's, that's interesting. Get me out of here. What the heck? So I guess okay. So if I if I dream like this, will I will I be Mario in my dream? You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I kind of want to find out. There's a bunch of recipes I'm not even using. I'm about to. I gotta. I gotta get rid of these soon. Nope. Wrong. Let me go up. Do I have to hold the... Let me get out of here. Can I let go of the wand? Like, can I do my day-to-day -day activities doing other stuff? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, surely I can. Because I took out... Yeah, I can get rid of the... Okay. Let's go dream. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing half the time in this game. But hey, let's go dream big. And then let's see if it'll update my dream address for you guys. And the dream, for anyone wondering, the dream address is in the description. Hmm. Should I get some sleep? Yeah, I want to sleep. You look, yeah, you have to undo your transformation before drifting off to sleep. So, yeah. Okay. So, that's weird. I, I never knew how to use a wand before. So, let me, uh... Let me star... How do I do my star wand? Hold. And then... Hold on. So, to, to edit my outfit... I go I go down back to the to the dresser, right? Yeah, I've never really done this before. This might I like it's been like a year and like this is my first time really messing with the with the outfits with the wand. So I go down here to the dresser and then I can change this outfit, right? Cuz I want to look like Mario when you guys come and visit me. Uh edit wand outfits. You can't edit while wearing the wand. Okay. Uh okay. Then fine. Uh revert outfit. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where am I? Okay, edit one outfit. So, can I 
get rid of the one dot fit. You know what I mean? Like edit. Yeah, maybe so. Put in storage. Okay, so now I can actually change my clothes clothes. Okay. That makes sense. And now this Mario stuff should actually be there. It's in the... Uh... Yeah, there it is. So there's Mario. Mario outfit. Don't need that, but I can wear a Mario hat. I don't need my mask either. Where's my mask? Don't need that. I would like a Mario mustache though. And then Mario shoes. You know, I wasn't wearing socks before. I don't know what kind of socks Mario wears. White, maybe? He wears tube socks, obviously. And then... <laughs> these Mario shoes. So there you go. Oh, dang it! I canceled it! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Get changed. <laughs> I'm so... Okay, so not to that. No, no. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of all this. We want to dress like Mario here, don't we? So we're going to dress up. As Mario. Hat wise, we know that Mario wears a hat. We know that he has accessories. And we know that he is going to wear shoes and socks. So, tube socks and Mario shoes right here. And then we are done. There we go. Now I'm looking like a real Mario. And, and then now I don't have to worry about, you know, whatever. The one or whatever. I just look like Mario. And when you come and visit me in my dream, is going to be like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and dream. You come and visit my island if you want. And uh, everything will be up to date. So, I'm going to go ahead and dream. I will see you next time for more. Good night and goodbye. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.